So today we are constructing a circumscribed circle about a triangle using a compass. All right. Now before we do the construction, let's do a little sketch so we know exactly what we're doing here. Okay. So I'm going to sketch our triangle here. All right. Now a, cir a circumscribed circle is a circle that goes around exactly around this triangle and hits the triangle in all three vertices. Now this is kind of a hard thing to sketch, so I'm gonna kind of just freehand it here. This isn't a great sketch. Eh, it's getting better. There we go. So you want a circle here, and you'll notice the edge of the circle is gonna hit all three vertices exactly. Now this is kind of a hard thing to picture, but it's a lot easier to do with construction. And the reason why is because this circle has a center somewhere here. And that center needs to be equidistant to each vertex. The distance here has to be the same as the distance here and the distance here. So we need the one point that's equidistant to all three vertices of our triangle because that's going to be the center of our circle. Now, we know how to do that because we know that the circumcenter is the one point equidistant from all three vertices of a triangle. The circumcenter is where the perpendicular bisectors of each side of our triangle intersect. So to construct our circumscribed circle, we're going to have to construct the perpendicular bisector of all three sides of this triangle. So we're going to have to be accurate because being a little bit off is going to make our circle a little bit off. And it's going to be really obvious if your circumscribed circle is off. So let's do this. I'll start with the short side. To construct a perpendicular bisector, set my compass to more than half the distance of this segment. And I'm going to swing an arc above and, above and below the line segment. And I will do the same on the other side of the segment, here and here. And where the two arcs intersect, here and here, will determine my perpendicular bisector. There it is, perpendicular bisector. Number one, done. Now, let's go to the next side. On this one, again, set my compass setting to more than halfway across the segment. Swing an arc above, swing an arc below. Do the same exact setting on the other side of my segment. Arc above, arc below. And now I know where my perpendicular bisector goes. It goes through here and here. So very carefully, I'll line up my straight edge here. There we go. Perpendicular bisector number two. So if I'm doing this right, this point right here should be our circumcent. It should be our circumcenter. Okay? But I always like to do the third side just to make sure. Okay? Because my third side should my third my third perpendicular bisector should go through that point. Okay? So let's do it just to test to make sure. So again, set my compass to more than half the length of that side. And I'll swing an arc above and swing an arc, well, here's above, here's below. Use the same exact setting. I'll do it on the other side. Above, below. And now I know where my, where my perpendicular bisector goes through. So I'll line it up. And look at that, it's almost perfect. Perpendicular bisector. And look at that. All three perpendicular bisectors go exactly through this point right here. That is my circumcenter, and that's going to be the center of my circumscribed circle. Okay? So now, last thing, I need to take my compass, and I know this is the center of my circumscribed circle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my compass, using that as my center, I'm going to make my compass setting go to the from the center 
to any of the three vertices of my triangle. And it doesn't matter which one you pick because they should all be the same distance. So let's check. My, my circumcenter to C, eh, a little bit bigger, right here. My circumcenter to B, uh, maybe I'm a little big. Eh, let's say here, okay, to B, and then my circumcenter to A. All right, see how they're all about the same? So now swing my circle all the way around. Let's see how I did. I think I'm pretty close. I might be a little bit off. There we go. Can you see my circle? Notice it should hit exactly point B, point C, and point A. And it, I would say it's pretty good. I might be a little off here, but it looks pretty good. But that's how you construct the circumscribed circle. Find where the perpendicular bisectors intersect, that's your center, and set your compass from that point to any of the vertices, and that circle should go through all three of them. Okay? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.